all your fault. This impulse buy was absolutely all of your fault. Come on! <laughs> They're literally bigger than it. <laughs> we always talk about smelly. It smells like an old person. Smelly Japanese cars. This is probably the smelliest Japanese car. It's not even going fast. My name's Dustin Williams, and welcome to my channel. I moved out to Southern California to pursue my passion as a filmmaker and car enthusiast. On my channel, you'll get to follow along on my dream car life. Racing cars, building cars, and traveling to Japan to drive and build my R34 GTR. I love Japanese culture and cars, so that's mainly what you'll find here. I also built a street apparel brand called Legends based on my experiences, cars, and Japanese culture. It's been a crazy ride so far, and I can't wait to see where life takes me. So let's strap in and enjoy today's video. say this is all your fault this impulse buy was absolutely all of your fault but i'm not even mad about it i'm in love this thing is freaking sick and the last tuner evo video i brought up that i really wanted to do a 90s honda before i did type r and you guys loved the idea that in turn got me thinking a little bit i went on my local marketplace online and this little gem popped up and we had to pull the trigger on it i'm going to show you guys in just a bit we are heading to art of attack which a lot of you guys have actually already guessed what we got but we are heading to art of attack to make the build plan get some parts and get this thing rolling because i am so freaking stoked for this so let's head to art of attack and show you guys what we picked up guys welcome this beautiful 94 honda civic eg as a new member of the garage legends family i am so excited and of course like i said we have to start the video off here at art of attack i'm gonna be giving you guys a full walk around of the car the story of the car and we're also picking up a bunch of parts to start this thing off so i'm so excited and i hope you guys are too <laughs> Is our brand new 94 EG hatch. Like I said a little bit earlier, you guys watched my Tuner Evo video and you guys were really hyped on the idea of Tim and I doing a 90s Honda build. So we had to full send and grab ourselves an EG. We found this and it was like kind of like a one in a million kind of thing. It's it was like definitely, a car. yeah, it was definitely an impulse buy, but when we saw this thing, we had to pick it up. So this is a one owner Civic EG and the guy had it just sitting. This has the original 268,000 miles. But what's cool about this is it is bone stock, has always been bone stock, and he recently head gasket and resurfaced the head. So let's show him the engine bay here, Tim. Kevin's choir sound effects here, okay? Uh, this is amazing, completely 100%. Oh, let, me, let me do the JDM. All the way up. All the way. <laughs> Completely 100% bone stock, never touched in its entire life, which is very, very cool. But also, we're about to go full send, so we're about to do everything pretty soon. And even the fenders unmolested. Another set of unmolested fenders. I they, feel like this is two in a row. I know. I feel like we've had some really good luck with our 90s cars. First the 240, now this. This is going to be awesome. And we actually have a purpose for this car right now gonna be really fun. So, Valvoline is actually partnering up with us on this car for Grid Life Midwest Fest, and our goal is for a month, we're gonna be building this car to be the ultimate daily driver time attack car, and this thing will be at Grid Life Midwest in Michigan, 
to race on Gingerman Raceway. I wanted to give you guys a little overview of the goal for this car because I'm very, very excited. So you guys know how much I love 90s JDM era cars and Japan culture in general. Well, one of the cars that we've never really done before is obviously the 90s Honda. And one of the biggest scenes in Japan was the Kanjo Zoku in Osaka that ran the Kanjo Loop, which is really, really cool. And so I want this build to be Kanjo Zoku inspired with like the no good racing type civics and all of those. And that's really gonna be the goal to build this civic just like that. And to start that out, I think it's really cool that we're gonna be time attack racing this car because a lot of those cars had, you know, the racing inspiration. And that's what we're really going for in this car. So bucket seat, cage, all the necessities that you really need to track a car will be in this while still being able to drive on the street every day. If we wanna go do a toge run or we wanna do late night, midnight runs and stuff like that, that's what this car is gonna be for. And it is gonna be so much fun. So we have a ton of parts that we're we're about to pull in front of the car and kind of give you guys a little overview at what we're going to be doing to start this build out. So obviously right now the car is not much of a looker, but don't let that fool you. Just like the 240, this thing is going to come to life and it's going to be awesome. As you guys know, we're here at Art of Attack, home of like the best JDM builds and the best place to get JDM parts. And right on the other side of the car, we have a whole slew of parts that I'm going to show you guys, but wanted to give you a quick walk around. Also, has anybody ever heard of these? Ling Long tires. This is some real China tires here boys. If you made it this far in the video, comment Ling Long. As you can probably see, all the molding is in really great condition. Even the window molding up here, really, really nice. And then on the interior is probably the nicest part about the car. Everything is 100% OEM intact, working perfectly. I mean, look how freaking clean this thing is. Now granted, we're going to be removing most of this, but it's very cool that the car came as clean as it did. Very, very stoked about this. Now moving on to the other side. Oh man, dude. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> in August. This is going to be amazing. So like I said, currently we are getting this thing ready to com compete at, at Grid Life Midwest Fest and this is going to be in the Sunday Racer class. So basically Sunday Cup Racer, Sunday Cup Racer class, which is basically a stock car, uh, which is good for me. I mean, this car has 80 horsepower and unfortunately we don't have time right now to shove a K motor in there just yet. Wait, wink, wink. Wait. Did you just say K motor? Wink, wink. What we are able to do is what we currently have here plus a couple of other things that we are missing currently, but I want to give you guys a little run through because this is going to be so amazing. So we have some brand new wheels and tires. We have a bridge seat. We have charge speed fenders, spoon exhaust, and KW coilovers for this thing, man. Spicy. It is absolutely spicy. We're going to be ready. This is just the tip of the iceberg, guys, okay? We have so much planned for this car. It's going to be so much fun. And like I said, it's going to be Kanjo Zoku style, and it's going to be so cool. Down to the livery, the parts. I mean, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited too. <laughs> Yeah, the truth here is how much parts can we actually fit in the back of the EG? It just works, you know? How great is it? I cannot believe how stupid clean this is. This why is, is really, really why is this so clean? I don't understand. Did you Again. show did you show oh, them underneath? I did not. Look, <gasps> everything original. It's so sick. Wheel. You guys want a little sneak peek here? So I'm thinking for the theme of this car, white and yellow. Kind of like spoon a little bit, you know? Check how beautiful this guy is. It's a good nut right there, dude. A little sneak peek. Another reason why I love Art of Attack here, I want to show you guys their little garage here. They have so much going on. But this is one of the owner's cars, Angel's uh, EK Type R. This thing is like the definition of absolutely perfect. It is beautiful. And I believe this has a K-swap in it as well. Oh my God. This is like absolute gold right here, but they also have their Time Attack EG over here, which I mean, this is like, they actually competed in global time attack with this. and. It is, look at this freaking splitter, by the way. That is insane. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff that Art of Attack built, which is why I only trust them when it comes to all of my like authentic, real JDM stuff. I mean, these are the guys that go to, and I'm just so excited to show you guys what's to come. It's going to be so cool. We have Pat's Integra Type R here. 
This thing is so cool, Pat. Thanks, man. Oh, man, Tim. The EG has so much potential, dude. Of course, we couldn't leave the shop without getting a ride in one of the cars. Pat's <laughs> taking us in his Integra Type R with the K20. K20Z1. Ooh, and how much power does this thing make? Uh, 212. Oh, Pat. for the EG is looking bright here, okay? decided it I think we need a K yeah well we made it home and I told you guys I would give you my first impressions on the Civic and we brought Tiana my totally impartial what is this? won't take sides reviewer here what, what do you I mean okay I know I already know what you're thinking about it okay it doesn't look like much right now okay but I, I promise <laughs> come on you're bigger than it <laughs> you are literally bigger than it you go stand by it this is comical <laughs> this is my little Civic. <laughs> Look at it. She's good. You can probably pick it up. Listen, I pro oh, you want to see? Watch this. Oh, Watch gosh. the tire right No here, way. Okay? No way. All right. You ready for this? That's what I've been training for, okay? One, two, three. Oh! So, this is it. The ultimate budget daily. Budget race car daily. That's what this is. It's going to be awesome. Just like the 240, it doesn't look like much right now. But give us. <laughs> Give us a little bit, and she's gonna turn into something beautiful. Put I wanted Dutch touch. Yeah, Dutch touch. I wanted to go on a little first drive impression, see what you think. This bad boy has a total of 60 to 80 horsepower. Are we gonna be able to get back up the hill <laughs> to get home? Let's find out. Now, immediately when you enter into the car, it's what is that? It's just the smell. It's smelly. What is that smell? Yeah. So we. We always talk about smelly. It smells like an old person. Smelly Japanese cars. This is probably the smelliest Japanese car I have. Three, almost, almost three hundred thousand miles of smells. You can't even fit in it. You should see yourself right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a clown car. What do you mean? Look how much stuff is in the back seat, by the way. Okay, we have. That's not even all. That's not all of our parts, but we have a decent amount. No power steering. No AC. You're kidding me. No power steering, no AC. So it's just a shell on wheels. Basically, yes. This car is going to race in Michigan in two and a half weeks. Yeah, she looks great. She's gonna be so ready. What are you um, doing over there? Gotta get the smell out of here. It's really, really smelly. We smelling. have roll down windows. And uh, manual locks. Don't worry about it. Really kicking it old school here. Don't worry about it. It's gonna feel like it's gonna be great. I promise. You gotta trust me. All right, you ready to go full throttle here, babe? Yeah. Send you. Let's see what 60 horsepower feels like, okay? All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. I have no. We're like not even going fast. Woo! Woo! Oh. Woo! I just made it to 60 miles an hour. Oh my god. Someone someone count that in someone, the comments. Yeah, please. How many That's seconds? That's hilarious. Usually every car Dustin buys, it's like complete opposite of this. Woohoo! 70 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. This is gonna be an incredible build and I am so excited. Fuel efficient, fun, and it's a real little race car. It's gonna be a good time. Don't worry. Okay, so you're going to race this car. It's gonna be great. And come in last? No, we're 
I mean the Sunday, you the Sunday Racers Class. Okay, it's about all. I mean, I'm really curious. I'm very curious as well. I how I, I think it's gonna blow up. But like, how many great projects do I bring home? Or crazy projects do I bring home that turn into great things? There you go. That's a better way of saying. It. <laughs> We're gonna I just okay. feel like you see a vision and thing where, you know the saying like another one man's tra trash is another man's treasure? Yes. That's like Dustin. That's me. You know, That's and Dustin. again, I sold my McLaren for a little Civic hatchback egg. You're just a sh box car <laughs> type of guy. That's just <laughs> what so you It are. is what it is. You, that's what you like. Oh my gosh. Really good brakes though. Just roll up your window there, buddy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Joke's on you whenever this thing's down, okay? Welp, guys. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, this is fine. Look, I'm just adding to the... <laughs> I can't, I can't. You're so upset. You have no idea, you're so upset. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. I could probably lift this too. You look great with it though, just saying. Yeah, look at that. The dud stance. You look good, yeah. Well, I know it's hard to see right now, but trust me, it's gonna be great. So a lot of you guys actually had questions not too long ago when I posted that I was doing Japanese lessons. And I thought I would share some things that have helped me out a little bit. And one thing in particular is this Japanese cheat sheet here. I got this off Amazon, it's like 15 or 20 bucks for everything and it kind of gives you like little tips little words little uh, like verb usages how to construct sentences stuff like that and this has really helped me tremendously through my Japanese lessons and I think I might start off some of the videos with some tips and some things that I learned in Japanese because I think that would be cool for not only for you guys but it also help me a little bit so Japanese lessons are going great I hope you guys are really stoked for the new Civic EG project uh, you guys saw some of the some of the parts that we got today but we have tons of more parts at the shop and like I said this is gonna be a crunch time build we're actually going to race this car with Valvoline at uh, Grid Life Midwest Fest in Michigan at Gingerman Raceway it's gonna be so much fun she might not be the most competitive car but she's damn sure gonna be a fun car and I'm very very excited for that so I hope you guys are excited for the little crunch time build series and once we're done racing the car we have a really really exciting other project with that car that we're gonna be doing it's gonna be so great and I hope you guys are stoked for it so with all of that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you haven't already please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video for the first mods. Peace out.